Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you another journal that I've completed <clears throat> and please excuse my voice, it is really fading away. Um, this journal has been inspired by a few people. Um, one is Nick the Booksmith and the other lady is Zoe Tallfield and I will link them both below. Um, I followed Zoe's tutorial on um, how to do your um, cover using like book cloth or in my case um, it was 100% um, cotton that I used and I coffee dyed it <clears throat> so um, and I've used the kind of ridges and stuff like that that Nick the booksmith uses so <clears throat> that is the and all, also all the little dangle pieces here are <clears throat> with the threads there from Nick the booksmith there is um the book measures eight inches this way five and three quarters that way two and a half inch spine <clears throat> there is five signatures and a total of 192 pages front and back and it is part embellished um there is some sewing and there's some pockets but there aren't any tags or anything like that um so that is the that's what it looks like on on the side I have used some of this cotton um, coffee dyed cotton and just um, ripped it up into strips and I've used that as a closure uh, most of in fact all of the printables that I used are from Artie Mays and I just stamped um, the word discover and used my decorative scissors and just made this little um, title plate here there is some uh, inked up cheesecloth gauze or whatever you like to call it <clears throat> so that so it lays nice <clears throat> I'm so pleased of how it turned out for my first attempt <clears throat> so like I said the papers are from Artie Mays there's some sewing here um, this does actually lay flat so making sure I'm in frame <clears throat> so I've used um, it's filled with um, nature themed images, um, birds, bees, flowers. There is some uh, dictionary pages here, paper bags, some squared paper. This is the trim on the on the edge, a doily, some printable um, music sheets. Sorry, I'm going to have to take a drawing. <coughs> This cold just doesn't want to shift. <clears throat> um, more printables from Artie Mays. And all these um, strands, they can be cut off if you wish. Um, this will be listed on my Etsy. If you are interested, the link will be below. Um, again, this is from Artie Mays. There's some Edith Holden book pages in here. I like that one, it's got some fishies on there. And a lizard. <laughs> lined paper it's just tied in the middle <clears throat> another side tuck here i love this page it's nice and the paper's nice and crispy paper bag the other side of the dictionary page a pocket here Again, this is Artie Mays. Another image from Artie Mays. I did do a little bit of stenciling in this. Um, generally, on the pages where there is um, a puck, a, a puck, a tuck or a pocket. <laughs> I was trying to say tuck and pocket in this as, a, as the same word. Then, um, like how this came out. Um, I've done this in, um, in my grill, which you Americans call your toaster oven. <clears throat> Pocket here. These have all been stitched as well. Love this paper. Paper bag. Some more trim. A doily. Another pocket. This signature here is, um, this is the middle signature. This is just um, loads of papers to write notes on. I just thought it needed um, like the five signatures rather than the four. 
another po pocket here. A doily, some music paper. Love the staining on this one. Some more trim. Dictionary page. And paper bag. Another tuck here. And I know there's a lot of shadowing. It's um it's now eight o'clock and it's very dark. Edith Holden. A another side tuck here. Oh, what have I done there? Oh, that's just I'll do that in a minute. A paper bag, a book page, a dictionary page, sorry. Another pocket, love the rabbit. And the final signature. Another tuck. Centre of the signature. Another tuck. And all the papers, all the digital papers from RT Maze are from various kits. They're not all from the one kit. I just went through and kind of looked for the, um, you know, the ledge paper type ones and the background papers to use. So there is various kits in here. And another pocket. And that is the back. So that is the journal. I like how it turned out. It did take me a long time to do the cover. <coughs> Um, like manipulating um, you know the, this part and it's all, like I say it was all new to me but it was great fun I enjoyed doing it oh I did do some stenciling um, on the fabric as well and there is quite a shimmer to um, the fabric because the coffee the coffee water that I used had some um, micro powders in it so it's left it with a nice shine and I did ink around the edges as well so that is my journal um like i said this will be listed on my etsy if anyone's interested and the link will be below and um if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye